In this video, I want to talk about how negative numbers work with addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And I'm going to try and explain why these things are doing what they are, um, which will hopefully help with the understanding side. But at the end of it, you just need to know how these rules work so that you can put them into action. OK, so. All I'm going to do in this video is work with the numbers 2 and 3. OK, so let's start off with 2 plus 3, which we, of course, know is 5. And we can see it on a number line. We can start at 2 on a number line, and we add 3. 1, 2, 3, and we get to 5. OK, we understand that. We also know that to take away 3 is going to be minus 1. So if you're at 2 on a number line and you take away 3, you go 1, 2, 3 to the left, and you are going to end up at minus 1. So we have seen that. We understand that. OK, so what about if you have 2 plus negative 3? Now, I've put the negative 3 into a bracket. I don't have to, OK? I can remove the bracket. That's perfectly fine. It doesn't create any ambiguity there. Um, but let's think of this um, in the context of temperatures, OK? If you are at uh, currently at a temperature of 2 degrees centigrade and you add in a negative temperature, so it would be like um, adding ice to a glass of water, for example. Um, then you would conceptually understand that that would make the drink cooler. OK, so the overall temperature must decrease. So it makes sense that it would go down to minus 1 degrees centigrade. So 2 plus negative 3 would be minus 1. And that makes sense uh, that they are then the same. So 2 take away 3 must be the same as 2 plus negative 3. They give the same result. OK. So what about if I do 2 take away positive 3? Now, again, I've put it in a bracket. I didn't need to. That doesn't create any ambiguity. So I could remove the bracket if I wanted to. So 2 take away positive 3. So I'm currently at 2 degrees centigrade, and I take away a positive temperature. And conceptually, that makes sense that that would reduce the overall temperature. And I would go down to minus 1 degrees centigrade. So that makes sense as well. So that means that these three all have to be the same thing. 2 take away 3, 2 plus negative 3, or 2 take away positive 3. OK, they're all the same. OK, so what if I had 2 take away negative 3? OK, so again, I can remove the brackets. And I don't create any ambiguity there. I could write 2 take away minus 3 like that. OK, so what does that mean? Um, well, if I am taking away a negative temperature, it would be like taking the ice out of the drink. And so the overall temperature of the drink would increase. So it makes sense that it would go up to 5 degrees centigrade. So that means that when I take away a negative, it is the same as adding. So these two results have to be the same thing. OK, so in the way that it was originally explained to me, you've got the two minuses next to each other. And so that turns into a positive. It's not a, it's not a way that um, some mathematicians really like to say. Um, certainly some teachers of maths like to say, but if it helps, it helps. OK, as long as you understand that those two minuses are stuck bang next to each other uh, and that forms the positive. OK, if it helps, it helps. OK, so what about if I start making the 2 negative? Does that change any of this? So if I had minus 2 plus 3, well, if I'm at minus 2 degrees centigrade and I add 3, I am moving to the right. I am getting, it's getting hotter. And so it would then 
get me to 1 degree centigrade. So, yeah, OK, that makes sense. What about if I do minus 2 take away 3? OK, I've got two minuses. Does that make a positive? Well, no, because the two minuses aren't next to one another. I'm at minus 2, and I need to go three units to the left, so it's getting colder, and so I end up at minus 5 degrees centigrade. OK, right. So what happens now if I start adding on negative 3 to minus 2? And again, I can remove the brackets. That's perfectly fine. What does that mean? Well, if I'm, I'm at minus 2 degrees centigrade and I add on a negative, so I add some ice into the drink, then it's going to get cooler. So I am at minus 5. So that means that these two things have to be the same. And if I'm at minus 2 degrees centigrade and I take away a positive temperature, so uh, if I take away positive 3, I can remove those brackets, that's fine, doesn't make any difference. Then I would be at minus 5. That makes sense. So again, these three all have to be the same. And note, right, just like these three all were the same, these three are the same as well. The minus sign on the two is not making any difference here. Okay? It's making a difference to the result, of course. But it's not making a difference to how this negative here interacts. Okay. So what if I have, was at minus 2 degrees centigrade and I took away a negative 3? Okay, so again, I'll remove the brackets. And I've got minus 2, take away minus 3. I've got 3 minus signs now. But... It is these two minus signs that are right next to each other that causes the change here. I'm, taking, I'm at minus 2 degrees centigrade, and I'm taking away the ice in the drink. And so that makes it get warmer. So minus 2 plus 3 is 1. And so these two have to be the same, just as it was that these two were the same. So that means that... If you add on a negative or you take away a positive, that is the same thing as just take away. If you are taking away a negative, that is the same as adding. Okay, Regardless of whether that initial number is a minus or if it's positive. Okay, It doesn't make any difference. So that is how uh, negative numbers interact with um, addition and subtraction. Okay. Right, multiplication and division. So, let's stick with 2 and 3. 2 times 3 we know is 6. Um, we can think of that as two lots of 3, so repeated addition. So I've got two 3s, 3 and 3 make 6, OK? Um, and you can then think, OK, well, if I've got two lots of negative 3, then I've got minus 3 plus minus 3, right? And we know that adding a negative is the same as subtraction. So I've got minus 3 take away 3, and so that would be minus 6. So it makes sense that two lots of minus 3 would be minus 6. You've got a positive times a negative is a negative. So what about if I had minus 2 times 3? OK, well, minus 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times minus 2. You can change the order, and that would be perfectly fine. So you'd have minus 2 plus minus 2 plus minus 2. So minus 2, take away 2, take away 2 is minus 6. So a positive times a negative is a negative, and a negative times a positive has to be a negative. OK. So what about minus 2 times minus 3? OK. So there's the issue. And this one people find difficult to um, understand. 
and explain. So probably the best way to really think about this is imagine that I've got two times and I'm going to have a bracket that's got, uh, let's have just have three plus three in it. Okay. So we'll work from that. So two times three plus three. Now, I know I can add the three and the three together in the bracket, and that makes six. And then I would have two lots of six, which is 12. You could look at it that way, or you could look at it as two times three plus two times three. So that's using the distributive law. And so that's 12. Okay, so that's uh, distribution, distributing the numbers out as you multiply the brackets out. Okay. So you could think of it that way. Okay. So let's say instead I had two times three take away three. Okay. So if I've got two times three take away three, I know that three take away three is zero. So two times zero will be zero. So I know this should be zero. So I've got two times three. Then I've got plus two times minus three. So again, using the distributive law. And so this has got to be zero. Because I know that three take away three is zero and two lots of zero is zero. I know that's got to be zero. So that's six. I know that that's six. So six plus something is zero. So that's got to be minus six. That's another explanation as to why that has to be minus six. This is six, and this has got to be minus six if it's equal to zero. OK? So what if I do this? Let's change the two at the front to minus two. I'm going to keep it as three take away three inside the bracket. Now, I know that 3 take away 3 is 0. Minus 2 times 0 has got to be 0. So I know the end result has got to be 0. So if I expand the bracket out, minus 2 times 3, and then I've got to add on minus 2 times minus 3. I know that minus 2 times 3 has got to be minus 6. So minus 6 plus something must be 0. So that's got to be 6. So minus 2 times minus 3 has got to be positive 6. That's the only way that that's going to work. So that means that when I multiply a negative by a negative, I must get a positive result. Okay, and because that can be traded up to any um, any two negative numbers. So this is the rule for multiplication. And the good news is that that rule exists in exactly the same way for division. Now, I'm just going to change the numbers because uh, two divided by three isn't a particularly nice answer. So let's let's change it to um, 2 and 4, shall we? So let's do 4 divided by 2, which we know is going to be 2. Uh, 4 divided by negative 2 is going to be minus 2. And f minus 4 divided by 2 is going to be minus 2. And minus 4 divided by minus 2 has got to be 2. Now you might be going, well, OK, I explained why it worked here. 2 minuses multiplied together make a positive. But why must that be the case as well? Well, if you remember, a division uh, is a fraction. OK? And when I'm dividing by 2, um, 
you could explain it by just looking at it as a fraction, but probably a better way would be to say that dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by a half. Okay, so 4 divided by 2 is the same as 4 times a half. Any uh, division can be changed into a multiplication by multiplying by the reciprocal. This is known as the reciprocal of 2. Okay, 1 half. So it's 1 over that value. So this has to be the same as minus 4 times minus a half. And we already know that two minuses, when they multiply, make a positive value. So this has got to be positive 2. And you can explain each of these results in precisely the same way, by t converting it into a multiplication. Some people remember uh, the multiplication division of negative numbers using a little table. Um, so like a little multiplication grid. So if you've got addition, subtraction, addition, well, sorry, positive, negative, positive, negative. A positive times a positive is a positive. Positive times a negative is a negative. Positive times negative is a negative. And negative times negative is a positive. That is one way that you can remember it if you don't just remember it as it stands. Okay? So that is how positives and negatives work together um, with addition, subtraction, multiplication, division.